Alrighty, we are back for Heavy Duty, and we're going to boost technology. That yeah, seems like the best idea to do. We have Heavy Cruiser or Modern Battleship. Let's do the Heavy Cruiser, because I do, I do not expect this to work, but hey, whatever. It could be entertaining. Rear Tower. I think I'm going to move you up. A little bit. Grab a rear tower. Like so. And let's do 30 knots. Gear turbines, oil, forced. Of course, all that and crop. Uh, just to reduce the chance of joyful explosions. Yeah, reduce the chance of ammo detonations, because that got us quite far. Super heavy, auto reload, electro hydro, uh, range finder. Radio and radar. Now, what I think, central line eights, they do fit. It's like, how often do we fire these? 15.6 seconds. Can I make them eights on the side too? Ah, uh, no, I can't. Secondaries, fives, three barrels. Boom, boom, boom. And that modern tower is just too much of a problem. What if I move you forward? And then move you forward. And we have a big problem with the four offset. And I can't, still can't put you on there, can't put you there. But there are four inch guns, kind of look like it. Can I move you back? Yes. And I think I'll grab 16, 6, 20. What? Nine inch guns? There, that fix, uh, fixes the four weight problem, and we do need a funnel. I got a text. It's a good text or a bad text. Uh, just someone asking if I eat the ribs, please say so. Oh, okay, no. Yeah, I can do. I can reply to that. Can do. He'll end up shoveling anyway. Uh, can I fit a big funnel in there? No. Why can't I put the mega funnel in anything? Because usually you can. 100% energy efficiency with one funnel. Uh, reduce the range to save some weight. Why is the bolt extended so heavy? do is we'll just uh, increase the tonnage to 15,000 tons and there we go and we have nine of them coming in oh my god exactly 15,000 tons and we'll have nine of these suckers and the guns fire 
Huh. So that'll be interesting. These guns fire every 16.6 seconds, so we're almost firing four rounds a minute. Would the 8-inch guns have actually managed to pour in four rounds a minute? No, not quite. These would, but 7-inch guns are too small. In my view. So, do I actually think this is going to work? Not really. <laughs> uh, let's do a quick calculation thing. Let's see. We've got 250,000. Can I, like, do something to spend a little bit more money? 250 divided, well, 250,000 divided by 27,000. So I can. 250,000, let's say divided by 28,000. So I can get a little bit more money spent, but we'll do this, because this is just like perfect on the 15,000. 30 knot speed, decent armor, crew size there, bulkheads, top speed, build time, 25 months. I see they got all that sorted out already. C.A. Leviathan. I kind of like that name. Launch. Ah, uh, water. Oh, I guess Mom has Mark's phone. That is not entirely important information, but okay. Oh, we got four destroyers, too. Nine heavy cruisers against one battleship, two heavy cruisers, and four destroyers. Where's the enemy? East. Behind me? <sighs> Behind me. Fine. Everybody turn that way. Um, I guess you're not going to turn? Who's the lead ship? You're the lead ship? You're the lead ship. Okay. <laughs> As they all get confused. Enemy smoke spotted. The destroyers are doing their own thing. Nope, they're turning now too. I want you to slow down so everybody else can catch up. I like how that guy is by himself. I see fleet management is going to be an interesting problem. These guys are going to be yo-yoing back and forth. Aren't they? So, flank speed for you guys now, because you're under fire. Somehow, okay, so we do see him. It's just a... We're not in range yet. I'm going to guess you've got 20-inch guns. 18 or 20 inch guns, but you're not really that impressive. So turn that way, turn that way, and you turn that way as well. Let's see what our range on these guns are 4 inch, 5 inch. 9 inch. We'll be in range momentarily. And then our rate of fire from hell. I'm not slowing down to full speed. We're closing. 
we have to close as fast as possible. So that's the first ship to open fire. Your odds of hitting are quite low. How fast are the destroyers? 33 knots. Do you guys have the capability of launching smoke? No. There should be a lot more missions in the future for the training missions, I believe, because they're going to have to add in modern light cruisers, because they don't have the modern light cruiser hulls yet. Which is unfortunate. And where's that one armored cruiser? There you are. And the sheer number of shells we have in the air. We're going to up close and brawl and use our rate of fire. So 51% identified. Oh, torpor the torpedoes have a range of 14 kilometers. So he is on fire? Flooding. You got hit by a 17 inch gun, so they got, I think, has 17 inch guns. Wow, you're suffering a lot of flood damage. You turn so fast, your turrets can't stay online, so good job. Really? Okay, so they're still focusing this guy down. 68% chance of it. 68% uh, identified. Now they're shooting you. Did I not, like... Boost the, yeah, I did. I did. You can still do 30 knots. Yeah, you're being nailed by secondaries. Which is good. 79% identified. Once it's identified, we'll be able to see how much, what type of damage we're doing to it. Oh. One of my secondary guns are destroyed. My single armored cruiser. You can move up there. You need to move that way. Secondaries are now opening fire on these destroyers because this destroyer is going to sink just from secondary battery fire. We've got a lot of fires on you, but we're only down to 87% identified. That's not a BB. Do these things have a lot of guns too? Eh, not as many as me. They're probably bigger and slower firing, too. So you're sinking. And even this guy who's got damage is more capable of keeping up. Kind of. Can you, like, oh, I don't know, turn your main turrets the correct way? Yeah, 
this is not these are going to succumb to secondary fire real fast <laughs> despite the fact that you do you guys do 33 knots you're barely getting ahead of the armored cruisers here oof yep doesn't say magazine detonation, but he got hit hard. What? Torpedoes? Probably go down. Maybe not. Nope, you're going down. With the number of torpedoes you got hit with, that makes perfect sense. Penetrations to you. I should have seen the torpedoes coming. Enemy destroyer is down due to heavy flooding. We're down one of our nine armored cruisers. Another wave of torpedoes. You are going to put yourself in trouble. They're only going to get one torpedo run. And all this. Because you're going down. You've dodged those torpedoes. I believe you guys will dodge those torpedoes. That leaves one more enemy destroyer who's just launched smoke. main gun. I don't think that smoke is going to save you. Just because of the sheer number of um, things shooting at you. You're already almost sunk. There we go. You're no longer a problem. Okay, so your top speed is supposedly 30 knots. Turn that way. The two damaged armored cruisers are now to the rear. Oh, your conning tower has been destroyed. Yeah, so even being angled like that doesn't matter too much. You got hit hard. Body was on fire. But the full weight of our firepower, including all the secondaries, is now going on this guy. Didn't hit. We're getting some flooding, 95% damage. I'm going to try to get the destroyers in close so we can uh, torpedo them. we got lots of fires on you. There's a lot of stuff on this guy, too. And those main battery shots have missed our armored cruiser. What? you just take torpedoes? You took a torpedo. You fool. OK. 
Okay. And you're gonna launch smoke now. You're gonna make the turn. Damage the main tower. What do you have for guns? Just some four-inch guns. Have you already launched your torpedoes? I'm gonna say you probably did. And you might have launched them at an armored cruiser, which would be mildly annoying. Kind of close in this way. Get into the smoke. You can also kind of turn like this. You can also turn in now. I hear torpedoes going off. I don't know who's launched them or what direction, but I just heard some go off. We got it down to 77% just from sheer fire, the volume of fire. How often do you fire your torpedoes? Reload is 600 seconds, so about three minutes. Shots are starting to tell on that. <laughs> it's not doing a hell of a lot of damage, but it's like partial pens and just the sheer volume of firepower we got going on them. They're all facing the wrong direction, a multitude of directions. I know I've heard you fire your torpedoes, but I don't know where my destroyer torpedoes went. go aggressive with those torpedoes and launch them. It's kind of annoying that they have not been launched yet. Ah, you fools. Did we get an armor detonation on this guy? Yeah, we did. Just sheer number, sheer amount of the freaking 9-inch guns hitting him. Whip it, you could fire your torpedoes too, that would be nice. In fact, anyone firing torpedoes would be nice. Once we get this, these things will just be easy peasy. <sighs> You're maneuvering too fast for your gun turrets to turn to, which is terrible. Destroyers are not firing. Where are you? Get over that way. Aggressive. Aggressive. And aggressive. You should all be firing your torpedoes. Got torpedoes coming this way. I don't know 
what some of these armored cruisers are doing, but they're not being particularly helpful. Come on, we got it down to 39%. Fire control damage. That's actually really good news. So there's a spread of torpedoes away. Patriot sinks due to damage. Oof. I really highly doubt those torpedoes will hit. Oh, those torpedoes will hit my guy. Probably take him out. Yeah, he's gone. torpedoes are going to hit, which is really annoying. You're annoying too. Do you have side mounted torpedoes? I have another armored cruiser down. You do have side mounted torpedoes. You're turning away. We have managed to do a shocking amount of damage. Yep, so the other one is down. Got him down to 37%. It's just not quite enough. And he dodged all of our torpedoes, because of course he did. Everybody shoot at that, but move that way. Just take that thing out because it's annoying me. Because it can actually do damage. It's got better damage potential than the big ship. And also it's really easy to take out. Oh, there's a bow up in the air? Yep. Hi, you're annoying me. You are now the focus of my wrath. That's a lot of armored cruisers shooting at you, too. What I probably should have done was just make everybody independent, because when they get damaged, they try to swap to the rear, and that was causing a lot of problems, because it take them out of line, and then other ships would be moving around them. We're losing another ship. Which is not a surprise, but now it's maneuvering so fast that it can't do anything. And you still have a load of second days. Our armored 
armored cruisers are too far away to do much of anything now. Which is really unfortunate. This guy is running, 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 and he can do 30 knots. Which I think is more than any of my guys could do at the moment. Oh, you've got a stern torpedo launcher. Good thing I've turned my destroyer. Main gun on the rear is destroyed. <sighs> we'll sink him. Provided we don't lose a main gun. Oof! You just got hit, Leviathan. I like how these things can only do 25 knots when the enemy thing over there does so much more. And he's going to hit the Leviathan, which is going to destroy another main gun. Do we have a single undamaged armored cruiser? No. I don't think the armored cruiser run for this. <coughs> well, we did do a lot. We brought it down to 37%. And it's probably doable. But I just don't think it's able to do enough fast enough. It's because I only used 8 inch guns, but I used 8 inch guns because it was um, 4 rounds a minute, basically. With the automatic firing. It's probably doable. I think maybe next time if I focus on taking out the armored cruisers first and then focus on this when I've got this thing and it's the only thing that can hurt us that might be a better idea but with only four badly damaged armored cruisers left I don't believe this is entirely possible so let's restart the battle and then we'll be back next time Thank you all for watching my video. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe if you enjoyed it. Also, don't forget to hit that stupid little bell thing that YouTube has added, because otherwise you won't get notifications of any new videos if you su subscribe. Also, follow me on Twitter, at GenJeft, as I always have my video updates on there, so you will never miss a video if you're on my Twitter feed, because they'll all be posted. And any other dumbass comment I make as well. So, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and we'll see you next time.